the biggest dropshipping source on like what they're currently launching products, right? So the first thing that you need is you need a list of like 10 to 30 uh, of the biggest dropshipping source. Uh, for that, you can use myip.ms and browse Shopify stores. Just go to page like 15 and you can find uh, a lot of dropshipping stores. Or an easier way is get the list of the biggest dropshipping stores in the link below. Uh, that's basically the link, uh, get my winning um, like winning product, you know, cheat sheet. Um, there is there is a list of the biggest dropshipping stores and there's also a few tips on product research as well. So the link is in the description. And um, the next step you should do is after you have the list of 20 to 30 biggest dropshipping stores is go to comafee.com and just get, a, just get a free account. So, you know, it's just completely free. And uh, what you need to do is once you have the list of the biggest dropshipping stores, um, just copy paste their store name. So basically an Inspire Uplift and then uh, add to it collections uh, all.atom, right? So I'll show you, I'll show you how to do that. But with this way, you can actually see like daily, like what they're actually like uploading on their source immediately. So once you set up your free comma feed account, I just go to the dashboard and click on subscribe, right? And here just put up, uh, here you just put the store name. So for example, sugarandcotton.com and then you can you add the uh, dash collections dash all dot atom, right? So just do that and then click on save. Once you click save, uh, there you, you will have the feed, right? And here you can see, you know, uh, what the biggest stores are just uploading. And here you can see like all the dates on when did they upload the product. So this is a really good way on how you can kind of see, you know, what other people are just basically putting on their store. Uh, just make sure to have at least like 30 uh, of those biggest dropshipping stores on your list. So you have a plenty of products to choose from. Second method on spying like the biggest dropshipping source is just go to their Facebook page, right? So once you have the list of the 30 biggest dropshipping source, go to their Facebook page, click on the info and ads, and there, you know, just, just go find a video ad and right click on, on the actual video. So as you can see, you know, on the photo, I right click on the video and I click on show video URL. We then copy paste the video and you can see you can see actual the video ad and all the engagement so you can see like how many likes comments you know um it has so this is a really good way because if you just go to info and ads by itself you won't see the engagement but by right clicking on the video and showing the url um this is a way how you can see all the engagement the third method is finding products on your facebook and instagram feed so for that, I, rem uh, I recommend that like whenever you see a dropshipping ad, you know, click on it, uh, add to cart, you know, and then check out. Uh, that way, you're just gonna tell Facebook that you like dropshipping products, and they'll they'll slowly show you more products, you know. Uh, another thing what I recommend is whenever you see a really good ad, save the ad, right? And it's pretty easy to do. Uh, so if it's on the Facebook feed, uh, just click on the three dots at the top, and then click on save video. Uh, whenever I see it on the Instagram feed, um, so on the bottom, you know, you can click on the the ribbon or what is it, right? So you just click on you just click on that button and it will save it will save the video. Another quick hack is I also see a lot of Instagram story ads, right? So I just click on send it, and instead of sending to a friend, I just send it to myself. So you know, um, I actually like send these Instagram story ads to myself. That way, I can kind of save them and I can I can see them. Um, another one, another good thing is like once you, once you start, you know, um, adding to cart and checking out on a lot of dropshipping products, uh, then Facebook is going to show you more of these ads. So for that, I recommend also using Turbo Ad Finder, which is a Chrome extension. It's totally free. Uh, this is the link for the download, right? And once you once you activate it on your Facebook feed, it's basically gonna hide all those posts that are not ads, and it's gonna show you only ads. So that is also a good way. So the fourth method is finding untapped AliExpress products, right? So this was the method I used to find my winning product, but I'll tell you a little bit about it later. But basically, you are looking for products that have less than 200 orders. Um, when I found my winning product, I think it had around like 100 orders, you know? And one thing is, you know, you really need to make sure that the product has less than 200 orders per product listing. Because sometimes you find a product and you think like it's untapped, it has like 50 orders, but you didn't check other sellers. Because like some of the popular, you know, there's so many sellers and let's say you find one and it has like 50 orders. 
but then then you didn't realize that there are other sellers that have like 5,000 orders, right? So how you check is how you actually make sure the product is untapped and doesn't have too many orders on it is just go on the AliExpress product page and scroll to the bottom. And once you're at the bottom, uh, there you can see um, the section from this seller and from other sellers. So when you go to other sellers, you can see like other sellers, right? So here we can see like there is a seller with like 400 orders and around 300 orders, right? So don't get fooled. Like if you see, if you see, you know, so many orders, um, it's not really an untapped product. And this was the way how I found my winning product. Like I mentioned, it had around 100 orders at the time. Um, and you know, by now, um, that winning product has made over 420k. Um, some people will be asking why so little. Well, because like the, the rest of that was around 180k and those were like some other mini winners and also a lot of upsells as well. And whenever you're using the untapped method on AliExpress, uh, there's a few criteria that you need to follow. So it needs to solve a problem or it needs to look very unique or have a really big wow factor. Um, so, you know, another really big thing is you need to be able to find some footage for uh, for the product to use in a video ad or you will be forced to use um, an image ad so I'm not right now testing a lot of image ads but unfortunately it has been just an epic fail like zero success you know in my Facebook group um, I've actually post, posted some stats um, really really bad so if you if you guys want to see my epic fails uh, just go to my just go to my Facebook group because there I share my successes and also my failures there as well um, and the last criteria uh, is that it needs to be shipped via e-packet or from the US. Uh, you don't want to really sell products that have 30 day shipping on AliExpress because those will end up to be even like almost 40 day shipping. So this will just really kill your business. You don't want to sell products with such slow shipping. Um, the fifth method, uh, it's using Taobao or 1688.com. Uh, so this is a little bit more advanced. So this is, yeah, this is kind of advanced method. Uh, but basically what you do is you go to Taobao um, or 1688.com. Those are all Chinese websites. And basically Taobao is kind of like an AliExpress uh, for Chinese people. This is where Chinese people uh, like buy stuff. And you can really find a lot of like new trending products uh, on Taobao uh, or the other site. And what I really like about that is that before the products even go on AliExpress, they're gonna be on Taobao first usually. So here, you know, you can find really good trending products or first to market products that nobody else is testing, right? So if you find a winner that nobody is testing and you scale it fast, those tend to be those tend to be like those seven figure products, you know, seven, eight figure products are basically those that you come as first to the market and you scale the hell out of it, right? The problem with Taobao and 1688.com uh, is that it's in Chinese. So a lot of people have problems with that, but you can basically use um, Google Translate or use Google Translate Chrome extension. Um, so that will just translate it into English and you can basically navigate there and just, just browse around and look at some products, you know, that you find interesting or, you know, or have a really like unique wow factor. Now, sometimes there's also a video ad on the product page of Taobao. So you can basically use those, those tend to be pretty safe. Uh, not as like the video footage that you find on YouTube, which are usually, which are usually way, way more risky. The big drawback of this method is that it's not for beginners. Usually like those new Taobao or 1688.com products, um, they're usually not available on AliExpress yet. So, you know, even if you find it on Taobao, but it's not on AliExpress, then you can sell it, right? Um, so this option is only good for people who have a third party supplier. So, you know, if you are kind of intermediate, you have your own supplier, definitely use Taobao, um, look for products there and then send the link to your supplier. And he'll usually say that he can get the product for you. Okay, so now the product winning product giveaway. So the winning product is the 12 piece reusable produce bag. Um, it has gone really, really viral recently. Um, I think it's got like 60K shares or even more. And at 60K shares, that product I think has made over seven figures in just a month or a month and a half. So this product is just really, really crazy right now. Um, you know, 
Um, their video editor is really, really good. It's just basically the angle of like eco-friendliness, you know, how it's just really, really good and it's no plastic. So, you know, I would really recommend this product uh, for you to test, um, you know, but the thing is like, the thing is it's getting really saturated so you can test it. Um, you know, there's no guarantee that it's gonna turn into a six figure winner because other people really scale it, uh, but definitely test it. Uh, you can, you can most likely can make some money out of it, some small amount, you know, like, you know, uh, four figures, five figures uh, could be possible with this product, I feel like. Okay, so the sixth method is a supplier method. Um, this is also for people who are more intermediate or advanced. And so if you have a good relationship with your third party supplier, you can ask him for current trending or hot product to sell. Uh, some of my like six to seven figure dropshipping friends found their winners this way. It's by asking their supplier, you know. Um, but just a quick disclaimer is, even if your supplier, you know, gives you a winner or a product that's been doing really well it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's gonna be a your winner right because if it would be that case like all you need is just one supplier and get him to give you like five products and you have like five winners but this doesn't work that way you know you always even if you have a product with high potential or that you think is a winning product you always need to test it uh, if it works on your store if it works for your ad account you know because the stores are all different you know um, the videos are all different that you produce from other people and your ad accounts are different So you cannot expect the same results as other people like even if you had the same everything You still cannot expect uh, to have the same results as other people unfortunately So in conclusion guys um, If you want like more tips and you want to you want to have the list of the biggest dropshipping stores just click on the link in the description um, there is the link to, to getting my winning product cheat sheet. Um, and for you to get the winning product cheat sheet, you'll be basically subscribed to my messenger list and just expect me to send you like daily tips and also like some daily motivational messages on Facebook. Uh, just basically to kind of push you to keep working and to just work harder. And also, um, if you want this slideshow, um, make sure to join my Facebook group. Um, it is already uploaded there. And you know, um, one thing as well is if you join my Facebook group, uh, it's also mandatory for you to answer all the questions uh, because I don't want people, uh, I don't want to have like low quality people in my Facebook group just spamming. So that's why I have three screening questions. So just answer those and I'll accept you into my Facebook group. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to you know subscribe to my channel. Make sure to watch some of my older videos, especially the recent ones, you know, my last three videos uh, before this one. They have been really, really high quality. I put a lot of work in them. So just check out those recent videos. And if you wanna see like my journey and you wanna see my progress, you can also watch my older videos. Um, there you can kind of see, you know, my whole progress. Um, you can see, you know, how I scaled to 1K a day in my first month. Then you can kind of see like how I, was, how I was struggling. And then you can also see, you know, how I scaled um, the first time to like 10K a day. Uh, and how, how I also got PayPal holds and so on, you know. So just check out my older videos. And you know, uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'll, I'm really preparing right now some really high value videos as well. So just stay tuned and see you in the next one.